So, we've got a lot of AI model coming out lately, and there are also some new updates to the WAN video model, as well as the Quen image generation model. In this video, I'm going to do a quick recap of everything we've seen this month. Since it's the end of September, I figured it'd be a good time to look back and see how we can use all these different AI models together, kind of like building a whole ecosystem based around WAN AI video and the Quen image generation model. There are so many new AI model popping up and constant updates to AI video tools, so I think it'd be helpful to do a little monthly recap, what we've got, how each model can be used practically, and how we can apply them to create AI content. First up, I've chosen the WAN 2.2 AI model. You can find all the files for it, Diffusion Model, Text Encoder, VAE, LoRa's, in the Comfy UI Hugging Face repo. Next, we're going to use Quen Image Edit, which I've talked about in previous videos. The latest update is the Quen Image Edit 2509 version. This one's been improved a lot for image editing. It does a really good job preserving the parts of the image you don't want to change. Then I'm going to try out the Quen Image Control Net. Specifically, I'm using Instant X Control Net. Basically, you download the model and drop these Control Net Union files into your Comfy UI Control Net folder. And just like that, you've got most Control Net types covered in a single file. Of course, we also need the base Quen image model itself. For this quick test, I'm using the FP8 version, just to generate some basic stuff in Comfy UI, like a character or random objects. When you start creating content in Comfy UI, I'm using the Quen image workflow. You can actually find this in the browse templates. Just go to the image tab and look for Quen image with Instant X Union Control Net. That's the exact workflow template I'm using right now. I've tweaked it just a little to boost image quality, but otherwise, it's the standard setup. It uses Quen Image plus ControlNet for guidance. Now, ControlNet for image generation has been around since Stable Diffusion blew up a couple years ago, so I won't go too deep into how it works. You've probably seen it before. This video is just a quick walkthrough of how we can practically use these model like Quen Image for content creation. If you want the full breakdown on any of these, Quen Image, Wan, or the others, I've covered them individually in past videos, so go check those out. All right, so I've got a reference image here for the character pose. This is something I generated earlier. I'm only using it as a control net reference, not for anything else. This time, instead of using DW pose or open pose, I'm going with a depth map because I want to keep some of the background shapes in the final image. I'm using the exact same text prompt from the template. Haven't changed a thing. It's a post-apocalyptic style prompt, and here's what it generated. You can see the character in different poses, standing, sitting, even a close-up shot. I also added a second sampler to improve image quality, upsampling the latent data and running an extra pass to get things sharper and clearer. So after that second sampling step, we end up with a higher resolution image. 1920 by 1080 instead of the original 720p. And yeah, you can definitely see the difference. The textures, details, everything just looks cleaner. That's pretty standard for basic image generation workflows, two sampling passes to refine the output. Now, let's say we want to turn this image into video content. The next step is to use the Quen image edit model. Specifically, the latest 2509 version I mentioned earlier, which dropped just two weeks ago. Comfy UI supports this model natively, so we can do macro level edits. For example, in this post apocalyptic scene, maybe our character is trying to escape from danger and needs to grab a tool like a baseball bat. So I gave the model a simple instruction add a baseball bat to her hand. And it worked. It kept all the original details intact like the robotic arms, the hoodie texture, the torn clothing, even the little gears on her arms. Some people complain that Quen Image Edit doesn't preserve existing elements well, but I think that might be because they're using quantized model that lose detail. I'm using the FP8 version, and it's doing a solid job keeping everything consistent. Anyway, for this demo, I'm keeping it simple. No need to overcomplicate it. 
less is more, right? Now, the fun part, animating this image into a video. For that, I'm using one of September's newest AI model, WAN 2.2 Anime. It's been trending everywhere online and I actually used it in the example at the start of this video where the character walks toward the camera with natural motion, not just stiff robotic movement. That was guided by a reference video. Same approach I'm using here. I drop in the edited image, hit play to preview it, and once it looks good, I move on to the WAN 2.2 animation workflow. I've covered WAN Animate in depth in other videos, so I won't rehash it here. Go check those out if you want the full tutorial. Next, I need a motion reference, something that matches the scene I'm going for. In this case, I want the character running across a collapsed street. So I grabbed a stock footage clip of a woman running. Same one I used earlier for the control net pose reference. Using the same video ensures the motion lines up well. The system extracts the DW pose and face crops from the reference. But this time, I don't need the background or character mask from the reference video, because I want to keep my own apocalyptic background from the generated image, so I turned off background and mask outputs, and I skipped the extended video generation for those too. That also saves a ton of memory. As for the text prompt in one animate, it doesn't need to be super detailed. I just wrote, the character is running across the street. That's it. Hit run, and it starts processing loading the video, extracting pose data, cropping faces, and then generating the final animation. And here's the result. Pretty cool, right? You've got this character sprinting down a ruined street like she's escaping from someone. All the motion comes from the reference video, and since the direction matches, she's running left to right, just like in my image, it blends perfectly. This is an 18-second AI-generated video built entirely from local model, Quen Image for Generation, Quen Image Edit for Object Insertion, and WAN 2.2 for Animation. It really shows how these Alibaba model, WAN and Quen, can work together as a full ecosystem. And if you're thinking about making full AI video stories, you could even throw in a language model to generate scripts or dialogue. I've talked about that before. It's not hard to get started with LLM these days. I think a lot of beginners get overwhelmed because there are so many model names and tools flying around. That's why I'm thinking. Maybe each month we do a quick summary of the new local model that dropped and show how to chain them together in a real workflow like this one for AI video content. Oh, and as an alternative, you could also use Juan Vase Fun from Alibaba's Pal. It lets you animate using just the first and last frames which you could generate with Quen image, or you can still use ControlNet the same way Wan Animate does to guide motion. Honestly, it just depends on the kind of movement you want. For something like this, simple running motion, a reference video works great. All right, that's it for this month's recap. September brought some solid new AI model that actually run well locally, not just prototypes. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. See ya.